Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy the given logarithmic equation. And to solve this equation, we're going to start by applying the power rule to this log term. The rule that says that we can bring down 2, that is the exponent of x, to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. When we apply this rule, this equation becomes 2 times x to the power 1 over x multiplied by ln x is equal to x. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will divide both sides of this equation by 2. When we do that, we have x to the power 1 over x times ln x is equal to x over 2. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will rewrite this term, that is x to the power 1 over x. And how are we going to do that? Now, remember that e to the power log to base e of a is equal to a. But of course, we know that log to base e is the natural logarithm. So, e to the power ln a is simply equal to a. So, to rewrite this, we simply do e to the power ln x to the power 1 over x. And then here we have times ln x. And of course, this is still equal to x over 2. Now, notice that in the exponent of e, we have a log term ln x to the power 1 over x. So, the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule to this log term. So we are going to bring down this exponent, that is 1 over x, to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have ln x multiplied by e to the power 1 over x times ln x. And of course, this is still equal to x over 2. Now, of course, the next thing we are going to do is to divide both sides of this equation by x. When we do that, we have 1 over x times ln x multiplied by e to the power 1 over x times ln x is equal to 1 over now, when you look at this equation, you will see that what we have before e is exactly the same as what we have in the exponent of e. That is 1 over x times ln x. 1 over x times ln x. So at this point, we can apply the Lambert W function. When we apply the Lambert W function to the left-hand side of this equation, we simply have 1 over x times ln x. And when we apply the Lambert W function to the right side of this equation, what we simply do is to impute this value, that is 1 over 2, into a Lambert W function calculator. We have plenty of those online. And when we do that, we get back the value of 0.35. One seven three. But now notice that we still cannot solve this equation by any simple algebraic means. So once more, let us rearrange. Of course, you know that 1 over x can be written as x to the power minus 1. And then we have ln x. And of course, this is equal to 0 0.35173. And of course, we can rewrite this as ln x multiplied by e to the power ln x to the power minus 1 according to this rule. And this is equal to 0 0.35173. Now, when we apply the power rule to this exponent, we have ln x times e to the power minus ln x is equal to 0 0.35173. 
and of course to make what we have in the exponent the same as what we have here we multiply both sides of this equation by minus one when we do that we have minus ln x times e to the power minus ln x is equal to minus 0 0.35173 and now that we have this equation in the form where what we have before e is the same as what we have in the exponent of e and the right hand side is a constant we can apply the lambert w function once more Applying that function to the left-hand side of this equation, of course, we have this, that is minus ln x. And when we impute this value into a Lambert W function calculator, we get two values back. The first value is minus 1.3303. And the second value is minus 0. 7295. And of course, we can multiply both sides of this equation by minus 1. When we do that, this, this, and this are taken care of. And we simply have that log to base e of x is equal to 1.3303 or 0 0.7295. And of course, remember that when we have a statement such as this, it simply means that e to this power or this power is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to e to the power 1.3303 or e to the power 0 0.7295. From here, we have that x is equal to 3.782 or 2.074. So these are the two values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.